Hello, and welcome back to Deadlight. Yeah, as I said in the last episode, I have a feeling that this is the last, or last but one, episode of this series. It was always going to be a short game, I knew this, but uh, I think I am going to miss it a little when it's gone. But before we jump straight back into the action, let's check out what we picked up in the last episode. And once again, the mouse moves straight to the middle. Damn you. Uh, no, we've seen that one. A dead cat, by the looks of it, or a dog. No, we haven't read this one, then. November 11th. The break after the work, the rain after the fire, the rest after the war, the death after life. Sometimes I feel as if I were sitting at the edge of a volcano about to erupt. My nerves, the trembles in my handwriting when I write. Everything is inside me, as it's always been. Everything is inside me, but there are times that it decides to show up. My feet hang over the void of sulphur and ashes, and the heat of the melting stone starts to traverse my spine. It is then when I know that I must go back to my home with my family. But if I don't do that, it will happen. It will happen whether you like it or not, like the girls in the forest. It will happen whether you like it or not. It will happen. I don't know why on earth they returned to the mountains. They were warned. Last month I warned them. I told them not to come back. Hell is them. And they are the ones who got the forest to look for trouble. I can't stop myself from defending it, my homeland. I am an animal that defends its territory. I am in charge. The vermin finish the job. Now, without reading the rest of the diary, that could conjure up all sorts of very dark and troubling imagery. To uh, put it into a bit of perspective, though, the girls that Randy is talking about here are um, two girls that he warned from picking. They were look looking for herbs and flowers in the forest like a month before in the diary. And uh, were trying... Oh, I'll go back. It was here that it was. Um, or maybe it was a little bit further back. But um, yeah, no, it, it was here. Uh, it was just basically about um, the girls... Uh, trying to pick flowers and uh, they were looking for some sort of cure for something and he warned them not to go there but the the forest knew how to find its food basically that the animals would would hurt them if they came back and then there's this one it's just all scribbled out dreams are my reality i'm afraid of the night i'm afraid of the night over and over now i'm assuming that the girls came back after his warning and died that or, or were badly injured something attacked them and perhaps his defending of the forest is him defending that the, well, the forest wasn't doing anything wrong. It was doing what it's always done. They were the ones who uh, neglected his warnings. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. And there's this one straight after. But we won't go into that. Let's check out the secrets we found now. What did we get? I think this is new. Uh, a fragment of the medical report about the disease that the scientists of the safe point were investigating. All their attempts to search for a cure have proven to be a failure. Uh, let's see if we can read this. The investigation by Dr. Mark uh, Luciario has led us to find similarities between patients 12 and 38. They have survived over 36 hours incubated from the disease, showing resistance to it thanks to the medical attention they were given. But Despite the resistance displayed by said individuals, the sick have returned to that terrible state in which the doctor must carry out the sacrifice. Uh, I assume by that means he had to kill them before they turned into zombies. Um, we've got US, uh, sorry, uh, the US Army, what's that say? The Oppresso Libre, I think. The Green Berets, USASF, military patch of Ben's Windbreaker. It's a good way to never forget my only friend in hope. Um, we've read that one. I think we've done everything on this page. Ooh. A photo of the military base. Safety point. Oh, safe point. Ah, I get you. As it was in 1962. During the Cold War, all these missiles, which are not used anymore, had clear destinations. Uh, we almost, well, actually we did, well, kind of fall down that missile silo at one point, and then our wrist kind of attached itself to something, I don't know, and our body bounced around like a rag doll for a bit. 
Well, you've seen more or less all of these. This is new. A cutting of the Washington Today of 1962, which speaks of the end of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Kennedy surrendered then to the communist threat. Now we are paying for his cowardice. Um, I can more or less read this, but uh, it's not particularly interesting. So I will leave it there. Let's see, what else have we got? We've got this. A registration for the plans that the rebel soldiers had in order to control the city and the survivors that reached the city. In the plans, it can be seen how the soldiers pretended to create a new order of terror. Pretended to create a new order? I don't understand what he, that's saying. It's the origin of the new law. Unfortunately, I cannot make head nor tail of this one. I can't read the handwriting, I'm afraid, at all. I can get words here and there, like, for example, the very last point is the continuation of the new law or something. I don't get it. But uh, I couldn't read the rest. And then we have this. A sheet with the list of names of the survivors who've reached the safe point. It looks like men have not been well received inside these walls. Stella's name is on the list. The last one. And beside it... <laughs> either 21 or 91. I am assuming 21. Uh, yeah... Michael K something 23 dead I can't see the other one 45 dead um, and then the next one something 49 something Elliot I think wounded with us being scrubbed out dead fair enough let's move on that's all of the secrets that we found and possibly all of the secrets we're going to find actually let's check one more thing oh there's other handhelds in here we can actually play it. Madness Mansion, the ultimate video game experience based on the creepy pulp classic by Arley and Don. Your eyes will melt and your brain will liquefy. Of fun. Help the investigator to stop the spectral cultists. Don't let them... Don't let them to light the candles. What terrible grammar. Or a dormant power older than man will be awakened. Oh, oh dear. Action, adventure, darkness, unbelievable color graphics, creepy enemies, play it now, lose your mind in li- No, no. I was gonna say lose your mind in terror, but it's not. It's lose your mind later. Damn it, you s robbed me of my momentum, stupid game. Let's see what this is. Um, show hide controls. I, I don't, I, I can't seem to do anything. Hmm. So, start. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Enter. White shift. Arrow keys. A space. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh oh. I don't know what I've got to do. Aha! I've got to catch you. I see. Aha. Okay, so uh, go prevent them from lighting the candles, I guess. This is not particularly great. In fact, I'm tempted to find out what happens. I think I saw Cthulhu in the graphics, but go ahead, light those candles. Crazy ghost. Go on, and you. I want this, uh, uh oh. Oh, okay. So you only need a light two, I guess. I think I'm dead. If I died, yes, I died. Okay, well, that was kind of fun. I wonder where I'm going to find all of these from, though. Damn it. <laughs> it's got a high score as well. That's kind of funny. I like that. But that is enough. We've got important business to do. We've got Stella to save from a very unfortunate situation. Oh, okay. This Doesn't put us back face. too far. Stella is here. I can feel it. You'll hear it My in a family. moment. I haven't seen them yet, though. This is it. Indeed it is. Uh, every single time. Fragile looking door. Even worse Maybe since I played that little handheld game, because that, A, was uh, the action button, not the jump button. Stay near the door, you bastard. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's that guy who said it, but it doesn't really make any sense that he would say that. Oh. My backpack. Yep. Let's go. Stuff's inside. Yes, it is. How old do you think they are? Probably not even 18. Oh, she's 21 according to the uh, so form. Right? 
So harsh. Uh, I could just reach up, grab his leg, but I don't think that would help. Come on. Pass through. Wow. They were fast. I would have understood it if. Well, maybe they went. No, that. It doesn't look like there's a door back there. How on earth did they get through here so quick? Okay, what's this? Hang on, Stella. What important things to pick up? Piece of Stella's freight sweater. Okay. Oh, goodness. What am I going to see in here? Take off your clothes. We have to decontaminate you. Not on the recording, please. I'm sure of that. More importantly, you're a pretty good. Oh, well, let's go around and grab a sip of tea. We have to be sure that you aren't going to bite us. The shower will help us to be sure. Take off your clothes. Oh, please. We'll do it the hard way if that's how. Oh dear. Ninja silhouette. Blood everywhere. Here. Get dressed. What? How did you find me? Bloody Even and wet. Noise stir up a lot of attention. Hurry up. We need to get out of here. Wayne, what happened to us? Where's Sam? And Ben? In a nutshell, They're you left me to so die, up. and then everyone but me died. Safe. Safe. That they put us in quarantine. That Seattle. You've just seen it with your own eyes. Seattle is dead. That blood in your saliva is the only real thing we have left, Stella. Now, have you seen my wife and daughter, Shannon, Lydia? No, Randall. But they have people trapped all over. They could be here somewhere. Come on, too surprising. We've got to find them and leave this place. Yeah, a little bit too easy. If she said, "Oh yeah, actually, cell block three H down the hall, stick first left, then another left." Then right. We'd better turn off the power if we want to move on. Okay. Can Let's I turn go. off the power? Oh, no, apparently not. Okay, are they gonna see me? What was your favorite baseball apparently team? Apparently not. Black Sox? <laughs> Shut up, dumbass! All the sellouts from that team are dead, just like the others. Okay, well, I was thinking this during the cutscene that the the voice acting in that was actually fairly good, but now all of a sudden, the voice acting's gone to I shit again. Help. Don't okay. worry, I'm here. Okay. So far, the soldiers haven't really reacted to me walking around at all. Oh. Oh, Help me, Randall. Okay. Oh shit. Let's go. How did those soldiers not know, not hear the noise of those barrels being f knocked over? Or here going, help me, Randall. I was assuming that there would be some sort of need to avoid Look them, but it really rain. doesn't seem like. Sure okay. Well, here's the test of that. Is this soldier going to see me? Oh. I. Okay. I thought that was in the background. All right. Give me a break. What would an episode of this be without me dying, anyway? You didn't know you watch it just to see me fail. Help me, Randall. Okay. Why can't I crawl on my belly? It seems like it would be a very useful skill, honestly. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to take a running jump, I guess. Let's crouch and see if this guy notices me. Okay. Okay, okay. Quickly. Hurry, Stella. We must reach the generator before we get discovered. Okay. How didn't he notice? Better turn off the power. Somebody has used this door recently. Send reinforcements to check the generator area. Balls. How did you? How did that soldier manage to work that out anyway? They seem ridiculously stupid at all other times. Let's go. And all of a sudden, the one soldier here who's got any observational skills, like, aha! I see that it's like scratching on the concrete, flakes of red paint. Someone has used this door. Are you coming up? Oh, you're coming up by yourself. Okay. <laughs> oh crap! I'm going back up. 
something I can interact with. The folder of an Arcadian protocol containing the escape plans for sol the soldiers of the base. Also, it contains an alternative to escape something or other. Okay, where are we going? Um, have I got to do something? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, I've got to go down. Okay. That makes sense. The power generator. Indeed. If I turn this off, all hell will break loose. Well, the only problem with hell breaking loose is that we're here as well. I, I'm not sure this is a very good plan, Mr. Wayne. But, uh... All those electrified fences that were holding the shadows in, yeah, they're all going to turn off now. It's going to be like Jurassic Park, only with zombies. Now well, that's a good idea for a fight. Zombie dinosaurs. Okay. Oh, uh, it's going to be a chase scene again, which means there's going to be loads of me dying while I learn the route. They're here. Indeed they are. Let's run. Yes, we are. Randall, a soldier is coming. Don't worry. Get up. I'm here. You're dead. No. Apparently not. Apparently, I'm dead. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to have to do this quickly then. Death number two of this episode. Run. Okay, come on. Why are you worrying about us when Don't you're worry. all... Getting shot over there. Ah, oh, you little shitbag. I bet I don't have my sodding. Mm, maybe. Oh, I do. Oh, what? Ah, oh, you bastards. I do have my shotgun. I have my revolver as well. Which means we're going to be shooting them from the other side. Ugh. Don't worry, okay. I'm here. You'll sort it out. Ah, oh, come on. Hands up, oh! How did... Uh. <laughs> Bollocks. I mean that. Okay. Try again. Ah, uh, come on. Let me... Stop Don't this. Worry. I'm here. I bet there's gonna be another one. Hands up, intruder! Ha ha! No, we are not. Oh balls. Calm down, Stella. Sounds like an asthmatic dinosaur. Any more bullets? Again, Wayne. No. I'm sure this Let's door reload quickly. Yeah, I'm sure it does too. I see a lock up there. No. Right. Probably gonna have to shoot more people. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's keep running. Ah, oh, bollocks. Ah! Oh. All oh, right, Stella. That's that, well. That's fine. You know, you just you just keep on running. Ignore me. Well, at least one of us got out, I suppose. Oh, all the way back here, really? That's a lion. Let's try and get this done quickly. Come on. Ooh, there's something on that, soldier. I missed it last time. Oh, it's just more bullets. That's not nearly as awesome as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a secret. And it's like, aha, thank you for killing me so I could collect this secret. And again. Ooh, there is a secret on this one. Though. Oh, no. Just more bullets again. How? Ooh, sorry, Stella. That was an accident, I promise you. Oh, and uh, that one was as well. Let's go. Right, let's quickly reload. Ah, 
Uh, this is all about just learning the pattern. Okay, and you? Come on. Okay, okay, just let me move. Ah, oh, come on. Seriously, I want to get in. I would very much like to flee. Okay, right, we can go. Ah, thank goodness. No, we need what? No. Oh, That's Stella. how on earth did you get trapped? I mean, they've even managed to barricade the way forward in the time that it took you to get trapped. Okay. Hurry, Stella. Ooh. Through this hole. I'll catch you. Go, go, go. I'll just uh, protect everything. No. Ah, oh, balls. I see what I need to do. And you. And you too as well. And you. Oh, balls. Gotta jump up onto this quickly. Okay. Phew. I wonder if there's secrets on that body. Damn it. I won't find out now. Okay. Let's just keep going. Don't want. Oh, more bullets maybe? Shotgun shells this time. Okay, we might need our shotgun then. Right, we've got to burst down this wall. There we go. Keep going! Don't wait! Ah, oh, balls. Wait for me! I was lying when I said don't wait. Oh, don't be such a... Don't give up. No. No. Wow, you are getting annoying now. We're gonna die, Randall. Shut We're up! Going to die. Or I will kill you myself! You already are. Run. No. It's We're going to die, Randall. Shut up, if woman! still in there somewhere. Okay. No. Oh. What are you doing? No. That's that's a bit cliche. No. Never. Ah, crazy eyes. Crazy eyes. Not good. Oh. Ah. Okay. Where the hell am I? Oh, that's me. Bugger off! Okay, I'm not sure what that was. I think it was something I could have picked up. Leave me alone! Oh, you've got a gun! Shoot the shadows! What's happening, sweetheart? What's happening, Daddy? Oh dear. Yes. Oh dear. I don't want to be a monster. I don't want us to become that. Only two shells. Kill me. Kill us. Oh, this is harsh. I love you. Oh, that's even worse. You have a choice. We all do. Choices that define You us. don't have time to be philosophical to while the zombies are, are bearing down upon you, up. Randall Wayne. You can't make that choice. It goes nowhere. Choose to be strong for Carla. Choose to be strong for Sam. For Ben. Choose to fight, Stella, no matter what. Choose to live. Choose to be able to swim. I can't, so I'm buggered. But, uh, well done. I could possibly have, like, I hand over hand with you that day, my daughter. underneath the, uh... But I didn't. The pier, but no. I couldn't bear it. I put it out of my mind, like it never happened. Buried the memory so deep, even I couldn't find it. I made a different choice this time, Shannon. A choice I can live with. I'm ready. Uh-oh. 
to be eaten by zombies. <laughs> Nightmare mode. Um, <laughs> considering this is going to be up in the, the low 30s or possibly mid 30s in terms of deaths. That frightens me. This, this is apparently normal. But there we are. That, as I suspected, is the end of Deadlight. A game by Tequila Works. And uh, some shoddy voice acting and contrived storyline aside, a pretty good game. Uh, not really sure what I feel about the ending, though. It seemed a little bit blunt. Um, rather, that it ended very quickly. Uh, I don't know. It, it seemed to be trying to uh, say something, but did it in a very short space of time. So the message was a little bit uh, choppy. But a good game, nonetheless. A very nice little uh, bit of ending music, actually. The design team, the people responsible for this awesome game. The programmers, the people who are really responsible for the awesome game. Coders don't get enough credit these days, I feel. Quality assurance uh, didn't quite do the best job. <laughs> there are certain parts that, uh, yeah, I probably have docked their pay a little bit. Operations team. Now, I don't actually know what an operations team is. Legal and attorney, communication and PR manager. Oh, right, that sort of thing. Fair enough. <laughs> Answered my question. Narrative team. Original story written by Antonio Rogiano Mora. I'm sorry I butchered your name, but very well done. It's a good story, more or less. You know, a bit convoluted at times, but overall, I think a good little, uh, good little bit of atmosphere. Graphic design, UI, and illustrations. Pretty good graphics, I thought. Had a really good... It fit with the theme really well. They managed to capture the sort of bleakness of it all. Music and sounds. David Garcia Diaz. Music and sound additional support. Arturo Torres. Ar Ar Arso? Arco? I'm not sure. Concept artist. Animation additional support. Francisco Martin. Ah, well, Stella. Sailing off into the sunset without us. After all we did. And that cave that was apparently keeping us from just leaping out, or rather off the pier, onto the boat, is gone, conveniently. <laughs> Epic. That's awesome. The team would like to dedicate the game to the following people. Lots of people whose names are, wow, that one person whose name I can't even begin to pronounce at all. Oh, and, and us. And us. All of us. And I would like to dedicate this game to all of you. Thank you for watching. It's, like I've said, quite a good game, and I think I will miss it. It had its ups and a few downs. There were certain parts where it felt like there was no way you could have dealt with it other than dying and learning what to avoid by numerous attempts rather than giving you a chance to just be really observant and work things out the first time through. But uh, overall, a really solid experience. A very fun platformer, in my opinion. A short game, certainly. Uh, if you were going to pick this up, and I, I do recommend it, it's quite fun. I may one day do a Let's Play of the Nightmare Mode, but probably not for a long time if it ever happens. So if you want to see what that's like, pick it up yourself. Um, I would probably recommend, I mean I don't know how much this is on Steam right now, but I'd probably recommend just waiting. It seems to come up in in the like sales fairly frequently, so, and because of its length I, I mean unless it's like something like 5 or 10 quid normally, if it was like, like a 15 to 20 pound game, I, I would wait for a sale because it's just, it's not a very long game. Obviously it's been drawn out for me a bit because I've been let's playing it, but if you were just playing it yourself, eh, I'm not sure. I mean, it depends how much you like platformers, basically. And uh, sort of zombie survival platformers is that, at that, which is a bit of a niche market, I guess. But that looks like the end of it. Thank you to Tequila Works for bringing us Deadlight. And thank you to all of you for watching me play it. Until next we meet, do take care.